The victims' families gave President Biden a pretty serious ultimatum here, didn't they? Yes. 1,800 family members, first responders, others directly affected by the 9-11 terror attacks, put out a statement last month saying that they would oppose President Biden's participation in any memorial ceremonies around the 20th anniversary coming up if he did not release these documents. Uh, these documents have gotten incredibly important to them. Uh, they include a range of things the FBI uncovered in its investigation behind who is responsible from the for the attacks, everything from phone records to interview notes. And as you mentioned, Eamon, they believe that in these documents could be evidence that Saudi government officials were involved or had some sort of knowledge about these attacks. And of course, the 9-11 Commission report did not find that. The Saudi government has denied it. But still, this has become something very important to these families. Uh, they seem to applaud this decision today. They said it appear, it was Biden carrying through on a campaign promise that he had made to bring more transparency to his government. One family member said that we have been fighting the FBI and intelligence community for too long, but this looks like a true turning point. Now, as far as what comes next, these documents aren't going to be released overnight. They still have to go through a review process. There still is an exemption for things that provide uh, would be a clear national security risk if they were released to the public. But any time between now and the next six months, these documents should start coming out. And in this executive order, they said uh, President Biden said he wants some of them released as soon as this 20th anniversary coming up next week. Amen.